None of us can get through mental health difficulties without being willing to have a conversation and being able to admit that we might need some help. William, Catherine and I started this campaign because we saw that fear of judgment, stigma and outdated prejudice meant that too many people stayed quiet about their mental health challenges. I have seen the threat that this fear and stigma poses in my work with veterans and my former army friends. I know firsthand from my time as an Apache pilot that you don't want anyone to question your ability to cope with pressure and stress. When you are called on to assist with a rescue mission in a dangerous situation, you want everyone to know that you won't be phased by the challenge. The truth is, no one is invincible. I have met too many people who waited too long to start having that conversation. I have met people who considered taking their own lives rather than admit to anything that might make them look weak in the eyes of others. This is why we want to change the way we talk about mental health. It's the reason we want to work with all of you, to have conversations at work with your friends, with your family, to confront any notion that a mental health challenge needs to be kept quiet. For me, it's as simple as this. If you have a persistent, painful issue with your knee, you wouldn't hesitate to speak to your friends about it or to go to the doctor to get it checked out. You do that because you know if a problem is left unaddressed, it could get worse, not better. And you don't hesitate to speak about it because you know there is no shame in a bad knee. Our mental fitness is no different. If you feel stressed or like a cloud is hanging over you, you cannot know how to fix that feeling unless you start speaking about it. What I really want to say is that if you do have the courage to speak about it, you really can make things better. Trust me. Mental health challenges are not a life sentence. Speak to your colleagues about how you cope with stress. When you go home tonight, maybe tell your kids that sometimes you struggle with your emotions and that it is okay to talk about it. Or instead, maybe pick up the phone to a friend who you suspect may be finding it hard to admit that something isn't quite right. If we are all willing to have these conversations, we will end the stigma around mental health once and for all. That's what Heads Together is trying to achieve, removing the stigma to pave the way for better access to services that can help. And that's why I'm so glad to have all of your help for this important mission. Thank you.